Hi, I'm Brian Smith from Big Brain Audio. In this and the following videos, I would like to introduce you to a deeply musical synthesizer, Native Instruments Contour, which is included in Native Instruments Complete 10 bundle of instruments and effects. Contour is the latest creation of Stefan Schmidt, the founder of Native Instruments and creator of Reactor. He is also the founder and director of Nonlinear Labs, a new company dedicated to building hardware synthesizers for musicians. Contour is part of a family of instruments that Stefan has developed over the past few years. These include Spark, Prism, and Scanner. They all share common characteristics and design philosophies, which in many ways depart from classical synthesizer architecture. Contour is built on the powerful Reactor Visual Programming environment. You can use Contour either with Reactor Player or with the full version of Reactor. Contour is capable of a wide variety of sounds. I suggest you spend some time going through the excellent preset banks included, most of which were created by the sound design team at Native Instruments. Just to give you a taste, here is a very realistic wind instrument sound. And a deep, dynamic soundscape. And here's a very playable, musical, acoustic bass sound. But again, you should explore the 11 banks of factory sounds on your own. At the core, Contour is deceptively simple and is based on just two sine wave oscillators. But through a sophisticated and flexible structure, including wave shaping, phase modulation, comb filtering, and feedback, Contour is capable of creating astonishingly expressive and organic sounds like no other synthesizer. As you get to know Contour, you'll see that it is highly musical in nature. For example, you won't see parameter frequency values for the filters. Instead, the filters are tuned and played using musical note intervals, which are octave-based and not frequency-based. This way you can truly play the comb filter, for example. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to walk you through the main elements of Contour. At BigBrainAudio.com, you can find additional information and videos, including sound design tips relating to Contour. The interface provides you with two different views. The A view focuses on the motion recorders, which allow you to record and play back complex modulation changes. We'll focus on the A view in our tutorial on the motion recorders and modulation. The B view is really the main view of Contour and gives you access to the depth of the synthesizer sound engine and offers the full range of Contour sound design possibilities. The main B view is organized into a number of clear sections. The four elements in the light colored area, the two oscillator shapers, the comb filter, and the state variable filter, make up the heart of Contour. Note that letters A and B are used for the two oscillator shapers, and C and S for the comb and state variable filters. You'll see these letter abbreviations in other parts of the interface referring to these four modules. On the left are the three envelopes, A, B, and the pitch envelope, P, as well as the controller assignment area. On the right are the global mixer, the shaper, and the feedback modules. Along the bottom are the five effects. They are organized in the signal processing order from left to right. Finally, at the top we have the four macro controllers named Drama, Color 1, Color 2, and Loudness. These controls are the same as in the A view where the motion recorder display is located. To the right of these are the global controls for levels and voicing parameters. We'll look at all of these elements in detail in the following tutorials, but first, let's look at the basic structure of Contour. In this simplified block diagram, you can see the signal flow going from the oscillator shaper modules through to the filters, main mixer, 
Feedback Mixer, Global Shaper, Effects, and then to the output. The amount of signal going through these various modules can be controlled with a great deal of flexibility by using the various vertical faders on the interface. In addition, you'll notice that many of these faders are bipolar. You can mix a signal positively or negatively, in which case you'll be inverting the phase of the signal while mixing. This becomes especially interesting with various feedback and cross-modulation signal flows. Let's take a deeper look at the oscillator shaper sections in our next video.